So after sending out my steering wheel to be redone in chopped forged carbon fiber, I kind of wanted to carry that look through the rest of the panels in the car. So I grabbed some Lux chopped forged carbon on a metallic backer, and that's vinyl from Lux Auto Concepts, and I did the install. After posting my first attempt on Instagram, which I really didn't like because I left all the silver borders around it, a lot of you guys were asking how I did it. So here's the video. The steering wheel is from CZD. He sent out my factory wheel and had it redone. And the amazing paddle shifters painted to match. The dash bezels are from CCH Customs. Also, the interior trim on the steering wheel is also done in forged carbon. They did an amazing job. The vinyl I went with is from Lux Auto Concepts. I'll drop a link in the description below. It is their chopped forged carbon with a metallic base. Gives you that nice three-dimensional look. While I do have some experience wrapping, I really don't feel I'm at the level where I can be giving instruction on how to do it. So instead, this video is going to be more of a just kind of look over my shoulder and see exactly how I wrap these interior panels, the struggles that I went through getting it to sit down properly, and the cuts that I made to kind of hide the seams, which you can see right there, and basically come together with something that kind of looks really awesome. There is, however, some tips I can offer that made my install easier. On my first go at it, I struggled with a few areas and I decided to cut and seam the vinyl. As you can see here on the console bezel, I cut it in the corner, then overlapped and used some 3M finish line knifeless tape to make a perfectly clean seam. The beauty of Lux Forged Carbon Vinyl is that it's near impossible to see the seam unless you're a few inches away. On the dash bezel, I completed the work in three sections, and in the area above the speedo, I used the top as a template to cut the form before inserting it into place. Another tip is to press in and heat all the recesses before you wrap the vinyl over the edges. This will allow the air to work out and not allow bubbles to form inside all the grooves. The last most important is to post heat the entire install to ensure no bubbles will form and that the vinyl is properly set. Okay, so from here on out, there'll be no more talking, no more tips or tricks. It's just gonna be an 8X speed of the install. Each piece took about an hour to complete and all the tools and supplies and things that I use to complete this will be found in the description below. And thanks to everybody who has been using those links below. Every little bit helps me grab tools and other products to test for the channel. That's it for the talking. Sit back, relax, and enjoy.